Here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you do great end to the work week. Gabe Curtis reporting on this September 2nd, brought to you by Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance. As I anticipated, most locations east of I-84 held into the 90s due to that low-level ground smoke, but LeGrand got out of that soon enough to bump that temperature to 102, warmer out towards the west where we saw much clearer conditions into the low to mid-100s. And out the door this evening into LeGrand, we're now just seeing that high-level smoke, so air quality is much better and those temperatures will no longer be affected. Heading into the overnight hours tonight, we'll drop those temperatures into the low to mid 50s across much of the central part of our region, warmer elsewhere into the lower 60s. I'm expecting much of that haze to get out of here as we see some clouds rolling on in the second half of the overnight hours. Heading into the day tomorrow, upper 80s to lower 90s will be the story for much of us, an exception for that cooler spot, 83 in Meacham. That warm spot all the way up to 100 in Ontario. The best chance to see a storm or two would be between the late morning and early afternoon hours somewhere across the northern blues or Rallalas. Otherwise, the storm chance is non-existent everywhere else, but it's possible before we see increasing sunshine out in Burns, we could see maybe a drizzle spot out of that cloud deck. Heading into the day tomorrow for the granite, it looks like this will start out into the mid-60s at the 8 o'clock hour. More clouds and sun. Midday is when models are insisting we'll at least see a few storms somewhere across the Grand Ronde Valley as we see that increasing sunshine up to the upper 80s by the 4 o'clock hour as we have a westerly wind much of the day gusting up to 35 miles per hour in spots, but that will be mainly across midday right when our best chance for storms will be. Otherwise, we clear out, drop those temperatures into the upper 40s overnight, abundantly clear on Sunday, a little bit warmer into the lower 90s. As we head into my seven day forecast, we're slightly cooler for Labor Day, but those temperatures still remain above average through midweek. Then those clouds start to move in, creating a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm as early as Wednesday or Thursday, but not becoming likely till Friday. That's when those high temperatures drop into the upper 70s by late next week with those lows into the lower 40s as fall weather arrives. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecast that you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast. Hopefully all of you have a blessed holiday weekend and I will be back on Monday.